Hi right, lads and welcome back to another episode of Amateur Football. Today Davy at home to Golden Hill in one of the cups, I'm not sure what one it is. But this is starting 11. Davy and Nets back four is Hedgy, Rab, Tank and Michael. Wally Bird and Hendy on the wings. Two midfielders, Sandy and Grant. Two up top are Muzz and Brandon. Five subs today are Robbie, Bailey, me, Kenny and Wally. So let's get into the game. So Daly in the Claret and Blue and Golden Hill in the kind of navy blue. And yeah, Davy had to that was in the first five minutes, Davy had to make a good save there. And then Golden Hill on the right wing, Peg Muzz, one of their players, and then they get a free kick. From the free kick, they swing it in and in the box, Davy catches it. He then rolls out to Sandy, hoping to start a counter-attack. Sandy knows he's got like three men coming at him, so he plays it over to Brandon. It's not the best ball, but he can run onto it, but the defender number four is going to get their first pass back to the keeper. The keeper takes a touch by Brandon and then plays it up the park. Whether it was a pass or a clearance, it turns out to be a brilliant ball. The player number 11 runs onto it, cuts inside of Hedge, goes back in the inside, has a shot and puts that one by Davy and makes it 1-0 to Golden Hill and yeah so straight off I mean we knew that Golden Hill that they're like top of the league in Glasgow played Bank League or something like that but we knew that it was going to be a tough game but number 9 gets the ball for Golden Hill has a shot gets blocked by Michael has another shot and then he skies that one but Golden Hill they are full back with a throw in gives it number 4 number 4 who I think I don't know just a bit random he looks Mexican but he gets played up the right wing and number 9 has been pressured by Hedge he gives it back to the number 6 he goes by Sandy and then it's Tang who absolutely wipes him out, but at the same time I don't even think he touched him. That number 6 was a bit dodgy, but anyway number 11 I think that is with a free kick. And he puts that one by Davey, by the wall, by everyone, and right into the back of the net. So I don't know if any of you can remember Bridgewater last year, but I thought this game was going to turn out like that. Like end up beating us like 5-0 at half time and 6-2 full time. But number 11 on the ball, plays it to their winger, he gets a ball into the box. Number 9 is in a bit greedy and takes a shot for himself, whereas he, if he passed it, it was a simple tap in at the back post for number, don't know what number it is. But anyway, he gets played up to Muzz, Muzz plays it over to this near side where Wally Bird is. Wally Bird on the counter attack, gives it to Brandon, but it's a bit of a lack of communication there. But anyway, Brandon trying to feed off a loose ball as Golden Hill are struggling to get rid of it. Come to Wally Bird, he gives it into Muzz, Muzz turns his man in the middle. Has a shot with number four, the Mexican blocks it. He comes to Sandy, he goes by a few players and gets taken out in the box by number seven, and that is gonna be a penalty. So Daily right back in the game. Muzz hits a penalty and puts that one home and gives us a gives us a good shot of getting back into this game. And we did get back into this game as the ball gets played over the top. Number eleven is he tank wins the ball and then Hedgy goes in for it but he kind of misses it, comes to number 11 again, he turns and has a shot but that one goes wide of the target. And then their defender plays it upfield, it's Rab with the header, it comes to their number 6, he takes a touch, has a shot and that one's straight to Davey. But now I think their number 2 coming up with the ball, Muzz is there, he gets tackled and as you can see Muzz stays down and that is going to be Muzz injured and he's going to have to come off. He, I don't know how it actually hurt so bad, must have just been the landing, but as you can see, he was in a bit of pain there. Number 7 now in the ball for Golden Hill, he's holding off Hendy, it comes to number 3, and Hendy tackles him, and you can't really see much, but as you can see, red card, and I was sitting there like, red card, what's that for? But I looked at the camera and I kinda got it, you'll be able to see, but it was, it was so soft, like, so watch Hendy and that player, so he goes right into the back of Hendy for no reason, and then so you can't really see much but as you can see Hendy had the slightest of flick outs and also the ref just went with the shout because I circled it and he didn't even see it he wasn't even looking at Hendy and the other guy if anything the other guy should have got booked he went right into the back of Hendy off the ball so I mean that's that's more than what Hendy done Hendy barely done anything and the ref sent him off didn't even see it so Brandon now coming off injured that's our two strikers Moz and Brandon both coming off injured it's not the ideal situation down a goal down a man and two of your probably better players are off injured so we've got Kenny and Wally Mick going on for both of them and now number two on the ball swings it into back post where number seven is Davey saves that one and number seven should have scored there at the back post as it was a free header but that's going to be half time and we go into the break 2-1 down which 
it's it's not a bad result. I mean, still in the game. But Rab was coming off there for Bailey, and now number seven on the ball passes back to his keeper. Keeper takes a touch and gives it into the centre back. He plays it over to number seven again. Number seven then loses out to Sandy. Sandy pegs him and then tries to have a shot, but that one doesn't really go in. But he got a free kick in the process. Michael swings it in. Kenny's there, gets there before the keeper, but I think the ref gave gave it for offside or something like that. But Wally Mick going up for a header. He loses out to the centre back and then he gets headed up, Bailey wins both the headers and it comes to their number 7, number 7 passes it to their their other player, he plays it back to his number 7, he tries to go through Tank but Tank tackles him, comes to the number 5, he kind of goes by Sandy, gets a yard on him, Kenny takes out number 5 and Kenny's on a rampage, he's on a mission to wipe everyone out, he, takes num he tries to take number 6 out and then he goes and wipes number 7 out and then he, he rightly gets booked, I mean it was only 3 guys, guys he fouled, but yeah you could tell goal and how we're not liking that. When Kenny was getting in about them, they weren't really liking it a bit. But Sandy loses out to number six, number five, then plays it through to their striker. He goes down too easily. Comes to number seventeen. He has a shot, but that one goes over the bar. And now me and Robbie going on for Wally Bird and Grant. And now Davy on the ball. This is last fifteen minutes, so we're just gonna root one football. But Wally Mike wins a good flick on there. He comes to Tank. He tries to win it again, but then they kind of mix up with each other. Tank absolutely wipes his man out. And then it comes to Hedgy, he just kicks out of play. There's actually a good tackle by Tank. But Michael to throw this one into the box, hoping for a flick on, and it goes to Kenny G. He has a swing at it, misses it. Comes to Tank, he has a shot, but he gets blocked. And if that didn't get blocked, that was probably going in. But number 14 has it on the counter attack, plays it up to number 11. Number 11 runs onto it as Hedgy's pressing him. They've got numbers coming up, we've got numbers going back. As number 11 takes Hedgy to the byline, gives it to number 14 at the back post, but he couldn't quite sort his feet out. And it was an open net if he did get it so it was quite lucky that he couldn't get his feet sorted out but Wally Mick with a shot there and that is going to be our last chance and that's going to be full time and we lose this game 2-1 to Golden Hill and we knew they were going to be a good team because they're the top of their Premier League I think but yeah we gave them a tough game and we could have got something at the end there they were probably the better team throughout the game yeah so all the best to them for the rest of the season and if you did like the video please leave a like and I'll see you all next time bye <laughs>